My name is Rafael, and I am from Spain. I live in a small village called Soria, which is near Valladolid. I work for a company which specializes in high-tech road signaling systems. It's a family business, and I am head of the purchasing department. Life was good, but things have changed. Together with four colleagues, I went to the convention center Rai in Amsterdam to visit Intertraffic, the number one trade fair in the infrastructure and traffic management. It's important for us to see what the latest developments are. When the fair had ended, my colleagues and I checked out of our hotel and took a taxi to the airport. Our flight was in the afternoon, and since we were early, we killed some time at the duty-free shops. It must have been around four when we boarded the Iberia flight 3251. My colleagues and I made ourselves comfortable, and shortly after takeoff, this woman sitting next to me was acting strange. She kept moving about, sighed all the time, and at one point she got up and went to see a stewardess. Was it something I had said? I did not know. A couple of minutes later, she came back with these two others, who started asking all these questions. Sir, are you traveling on your own? Sir, can we see your hand luggage? Sir, what's in your bag? I was dumbfounded. Why was this woman acting like I was some kind of terrorist? I'm not used to people who are very outspoken. I tend to clamp down when people behave that way. I have had this twitching problem for years. When I feel uncomfortable, I start moving about. I can't sit still unless I really concentrate. I stretch and twist my head. I develop twitches near my eyes and my mouth, and I start rubbing my hands on my legs. With the stewardess asking me all these questions, and the woman who was sitting next to me constantly wagging her finger at me. I started twitching all over my body, like never before. I wasn't listening to what these women were saying. I was trying to escape from these people. I imagined myself somewhere else. I could see the stewardess addressing other passengers. Is he with you? Excuse me, sir. Did you hear what this man said? I heard the woman saying to the stewardess, He said things like, Vamos a volar. He actually made a reference to bombas. And I kept thinking, Did I say those things? Everyone seemed to agree that I used the word bombas. The stewardess was looking at me again. She demanded she could check my luggage. I could see the captain was coming my way and I started twitching even more. The police later told me that through my actions and the things that I had said and my unresponsive behavior in general, the pilot had decided to return to the airport. Someone had convinced him the plane might actually explode in 15 minutes. After a rather frightening landing, everybody was evacuated via the emergency slides and questioned by the military police. The plane was searched for explosives by dogs but none were found. My colleagues, who were also arrested, were released that same day. After seven days in a Dutch prison, I was released. I still work for the family company. I don't go out of the house much. My twitching is worse than ever and has barely stopped since I was mistaken for a terrorist. My father has asked a lawyer to handle all the contacts with the outside world particularly the press. I used to go to bars and restaurants a lot. Now I'm afraid to even enter such a place. I often pretend I am not here. <laughs>